think so. I, pinfalls do count in either ring tonight. Yeah. Well, like, the, match, the match is allowed to smell over in any ring. This is the first time that anyone, anyone, not even the WWE, has done a two-ring event before. So if you think about it like that, Black Diamond is very innovative when it comes to things like this. Two rings is unheard of. Now we have the uh, Irish American Gavin Jacobs. <laughs> There's so many rings to run around. I know. Don't think about it. It's, it's eight turnbuckles. <laughs> well, we're, we're definitely going to see some great action here between these two. These two definitely don't like each other. That's an understatement. That's a real big understatement. Uh, Gavin Jacobs will actually have a title shot at our next event uh, on the 28th next Friday in Cameron, West Virginia against Chris LaRusso. So he's looking to get some momentum going into that contest. He just did a cartwheel. He, he's the jester. Uh, okay. He can do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, the jester the jester's a, a psychotic, crazy individual. But he's starting off with a headlock here. Which Gavin's trying to power his way out of just the, the sheer power of Gavin Jacobs. I'm trying to go get over that moonsault Gavin Jacobs is in the Tower of Terror match. I, I, I'm with you there. That, 
The last time we were here in Brilliant, yeah. he did that moonsault off the tower, and I was shocked. I had never seen a guy the size of Gavin Jacobs do a moonsault like that. Which uh, Jester was also involved in that match as well. Yeah, I think he was on one of the guys on the receiving end of that moonsault. Mm, yes, he was. He also got busted open, too. He did. Lip, lip was busted open. Yeah, he was, he was spitting a bit of blood there. He had to, had to get some medical attention afterwards. Probably enjoyed it, though. Oh, well, well, I'm sure he did. He's, as oh, we he said before, he's, he's a psychotic, crazy individual. Some real good mat wrestling we're seeing right here. We usually don't see a whole lot of mat wrestling from, from the Joker or Gavin Jacobs. From, from, from the Jester? Yeah, I did. Wow. Well, yeah. I just screwed that one up. Now you're going to get the death kick. Yeah. I'm going to get the death <laughs> kick real bad. Oh, yeah. Because he specifically does not want to be called the Joker. No, he doesn't. He I, think, I think kick? I'm going to I'm gonna avoid him in, uh, in the locker room. That's oh, he's sure. going to watch the show. You're going to get the death kick and then one man boot. Yes! <laughs> it's my evil plan. There right, we go. The standoff here. Looks like the jester might be a little bit frustrated here in the early goings of this contest. Yeah, that's a good way to lose a match. Absolutely. And the jester definitely needs to pick up a win here because I, I believe the jester could be a top contender for the heavyweight title. He, he just can't seem to he can't seem to lock down a win. And if he, you know, if he defeats Gavin Jacobs here tonight, that could definitely put him in a championship match. He's going to slow down Jacobs' momentum, too. Exactly, and, and Jacobs has that title match one week from tonight in Camp West Virginia. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice hip toss reversal there from Gavin Jacobs. Hip toss. Jacobs. Oh, Gavin Jacobs is so strong. For as strong as he is, he's also very agile, as we've seen in our last in recent weeks with that moonsault. And all of Gavin Jacobs' strength is evenly distributed throughout his body. You're right about that. That's why he's that's why he's stronger than he looks. Definitely, I, I agree with that. Well, it looks like it looks like the action's spilling over to the other ring. He's not like that. And the, so run away from the, the jester is just ah, he's using. Oh. Come on, the classic, I'm going to get in the ring first and kick me get in the ring. Hey, the Jester, that's the smart conniving, you know, uh, psyche of the Jester there. Just trying to get the advantage any way he can. I've been seeing that since the 50s, and I'm only 24. <laughs> <laughs> Do the math. So you were a negative 26 the last time. <laughs> oh, it's very Probably point. more than that, yeah. Okay, negative 26. <laughs> Stop wasting time talking. Oh, that was a brutal senton. All the weight of the gesture right there on the sternum of Gavin Jacobs. That could be it. That's the days you'll cover. If I think if he would have turned around and put all his weight on there and hooked the leg, that might have been a three That's count. A pet peeve of mine. Don't yeah, really I, cover. Don't just put your shoulder blades on. I'd agree with you there. Locked him. Right hand. Right hand. Oh, the back three in a row here. A lot, of, a lot of power behind those shots from Gavin Jacobs. But it, it didn't affect the Jester too much, obviously. Yeah, just one axe handle when he was out. The Jester also a powerful man. Yeah. The Jester can hurt you. In a lot of different ways. You're right. He can hurt you physically. He can hurt you psychologically. The Jester is... Jester's on top of his game here tonight. Fans are getting all Going over for Jester. the pin here. Maybe, maybe he shouldn't have taken out that time to to yell at the fans there. Every second counts in a wrestling match. Because you only need one second to lose in a minute. Right. It only takes three to lose the match. That should be the qualification. You can't make out with the referee. Right. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not a ref. I don't, I don't get to make that type would, of thing. Would you make out with, with the referee if the referee was Ginger? Yes! Yes, I would. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to tell Chess Flexer about that later. No, no, you don't got to do that. It's okay. No, it's okay. I mean, they're tag champs now. Oh, they're tag champs. They're, they're big time. On, the, on their way to some superstardom here in Black Diamond. Yeah, so Ginger's, uh, she picked the right team to be behind, I guess. She did. Absolutely. 
Aaron Jacobs up. Hits him right there. Yeah, right in that kitchen sink right there. Yeah. For that knee. That could be it. Knocking the win right out of Gavin. And that's the kind of cover I want to see. Right there. It's definitely a bit better. I like think he might have got a might have got it if he hooked the alligator roll. Some call it a bear hug. Could be a grounded bear hug. Yeah. I call it an alligator roll. Well, I, again, he's not rolling. No, he's not really rolling. How about the gesture of luck? I don't know about that one. I have to get with the BDW officials about that. Got some back elbows there. Got Gavin. Oh, oh, Gavin. Is Gavin trying to go for a death kick of his own there? Like a round, uh, like a... Oh, oh my God. God. All right. Well. Sends the jester right to the, the mat. He was a little disoriented there. Wasn't sure which way he was going to fall. Close line. You feel that? Close line. Maybe it's just this, uh, a, 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 a mass of someone just the size falling, but man, I felt that over here. I, def I did too. Out. I'm with you there. Uh -oh. And the power. Chester is not a strong guy. Oh, power slam. That could be it. I'm surprised the Jester kicked out of that one. That was that was a hard power slam to the mat. He had him up there though. And and he had the leg hooked and everything. It wasn't even like he. <laughs> I thought that was gonna end it right there. Oh no. Oh oh, looks God. like Gavin's going up for that moonsault. That moonsault yeah, coming. Well, Gavin, Gavin kind of saw it, but watch out, watch out, Gavin hit the leg, going for the deck kick. Gavin, Gavin going for final destination. Nope. Chester saw that one coming too. Rolling him up. Oh, up in the ropes. Wait a minute now. What? Nope, he got him out of the ropes. Hey! He's got his feet on the ropes. What? The, je the Jester just stole. Jacobs knows what happens. Where's the Jester's move? Okay. Gavin Jacobs losing a little bit of momentum going into that title match against Chris Russo next Friday. And don't think that my main man Chris Russo is not watching. Because believe me, he, he's watching that match and he knows that Jacobs has lost the momentum. I, he, he, you're right about that, but you know what? I also think Jacobs could easily take that heavyweight championship from the champ. That's for sure. Not from a champion that's good at this one. I, I, do we? I, <laughs> we have, uh, uh, we have Kupak. Kupak 316, remember the stunning last week? Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What's going on, Kupak? Looking for a seat to sit down and talk a little bit. Interview. You want to interview? Oh yeah? I will spit. Well, spit my let's say him. How do you feel about that for me now? He is arrogant. Arrogant loud mouth. He has no respect for me. He shot me in the face. Long one. Look him right now. He's in his own plan. Has no respect for me. Put him inside. I love, I love the guy. I love him. He's my best friend. My best friend. And he did that. He gave me candy. He gave me candy. Yes. Yeah. I, you know, I think you did the right thing. I think you did the right thing. Even if Warren doesn't think you did the right thing, I think he totally disrespected you at the Royal Age, and you did the right thing. I know, I'm thinking, man. I know. I know. He's just still there, but even though he's calling me, he keeps calling me. Call me friendship bills, you know, but he keeps calling me. He keeps calling my house.
you know what? He's in for a fight here against Destin Bain. Destin Bain is very arrogant, but he's also a very skilled wrestler in that ring. He's skilled, but his When we were in the industry, I thought I was a part of it. Here I was a road man on the track. It was about him. 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 It was about the bullseye. It was about touring futuristic. It was about them. It was about them. It wasn't about me. It was about them. They were using you as a pawn. They were using me as a pawn. I see where you're coming from, Q-Pop. All right, let's let's get this match started here. Now you talk about Bane. You talk about the Tower Terror. He was also in that Tower Terror match. He put on a hell of a performance. He did. I agree with you there. I think maybe his arrogance got the best of him in that, though. Probably. Got to lock up by both men. Well, these guys are probably really skilled. Yeah. Yeah, I would say they're, they're probably very evenly matched. I think Dustin Bain's a little bit bigger, but then again, Chase is probably the smallest guy in the movie. And, and Chase is also a lot faster, I would say. And Dustin, yeah, probably. But, but, but Destin is also very methodical in that sense. Yeah, when, you, when you're wrestling someone like Dustin, you got to be aware of that. Destin Bain with that wrist Destin. lock. Nice counter into another wrist, wrist lock by Chase Aarons. So who are you going for? Yeah. Uh, I like... Uh, this is an even match. I, I know... Obviously, I like Headlock Chase Aarons. I like Chase Aarons. But... Uh, just things aside, uh, Justin is a good wrestler. But his attitude stinks. I agree with you. You can't deny his wrestling ability. You're right about that. There's some good mat work here from both men. That's a call that. I don't know what that is. That looks like a variation of like a bow and arrow into an arm bar. That's what I would say it is. It's an arm bar. Dustin Bain. Looks like both men are coming up here. Chase is trying to get the crowd into this, trying to get the crowd behind him. Destin Bain sure isn't going to get the crowd behind him, so. No, definitely not. I think Destin Bain is out wrestle Chase. Right now he is. He definitely is. Chase needs to use his speed, and, and that's what Destin's keeping him from doing right now, is using his speed. Because that's his greatest asset. For those at home that don't know who is who, they're both wearing blue. Chase Aaron's getting the best of Destin there with, with those kicks. Destin taking a little bit of... There's no timeouts in wrestling. Yes, there is. You gotta check your face. There's no timeout. What is this? This, this what? is the problem I have with him. He's always looking in that mirror, always looking, looking, always worried about himself, never worried about his tag partner, was never worried about me, always worried about himself. Why is the referee even letting him do this? There are no timeouts in wrestling. When have you ever heard of a timeout in wrestling? It happens all the time. Really? Yes. Where did we find you? It, it happens all the time. I've seen the Irish time. whip. Oh, Destin goes for that kick. <laughs> Chase uses speed to get a kick of his own in there. Oh, boy. Oh, nice arm drag. Chase, drag off the middle rope there. Both men, oh, oh. head scissors going here. Nice head scissors takedown from Chase Aarons. I think Chase Aarons has the advantage here. Definitely, he's using the speed to his advantage here. You're not going to out-wrestle him, man. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> nice move by Chase Aarons there. Uh-oh. Has him on the middle rope. Oh, a slap right in the face. Chase Aarons reminds me of a box of pop -up. 
because he is always exploding, always doing different moves. He's just, he's just crazy. He's, he's doing like, like a lot of moves. And now Destin got more control again. Just one day, that's, one day. That's, that's a great analogy, people. Yeah, yeah. Well, Destin taking control with that boot. So where'd you get your name from, Keep Up? How did you come up with that? Well, I went way, way back in BDW. I, I used to kick Cupid, and then I went to California, PA, hooked up with some friends, and uh, then I became Tupac. Uh, listened to the music and uh, hand out my candy necklaces and candy and hand out the candy and, you know, just, just became like hip. You know, like thug Tupac. life. I want to say thug life. I want to say more like hip and dance. I love to dance. I love to dance. And if you haven't seen this man dance, he is a great dancer. Born. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it, but I, I think I'll put. We'll go out to the glass sometime. Nice European uppercut right there on the back of Chase Aaron's from Destin Main. I I gotta say I'm a big fan of Destin Main's European uppercuts. Is he even European? They're innovative. They are very innovative. You're right very about that. Innovative. Is he European? Uh, he, he probably got, has a little bit of European descent in there. Okay. I mean, you can kind of see it in the face there. Maybe that's why he treasures that face so much. Probably. Maybe he's like ancient Greek. Oh! It could be. Could be. Come on, Chase! Come on, Chase! Come on, Chase! Chase? Oh, 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 European uppercut right there from Destin Bain. Mark Chase. That was a very European uppercut. He's going to give him a beauty mark there. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Because he's beautiful. And his own life. But uh, unfortunately, Destin Bain and, and Cupac couldn't regain the tag titles because of, of the issues between you guys. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It's the same he doesn't know how to treat people. The same that Destin Bain does not know how to treat people. Hey, you had to teach him a lesson. Yeah. You had to teach him a lesson. At some point in every wrestler's career, they have to get ahead. And it's unfortunate you've got to step on some toes to do it. Chase going up top. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. It's got to be it. It's a two count there. Do you agree with that? Sometimes you gotta step on the Yeah, I, I, can, I can agree with that. Chase Harris is on fire here. Oh! oh awesome wow. elbow. Nice back elbow for Chase Harris. You're gonna see stuff you've never seen before. The crowd clearly behind this the over the end. Time to be Oh! Double knees to the face of Destin Bain. Destin Bain's not gonna like that, that's for sure. Going for the pin here, hooks the leg. Only a two. You no, know, I thought what I know it's a thing between me and Chase Aaron. We both have heart. We both have heart and uh, that's that's a big thing to have. It's a big heart, you know. Like, well yeah. well Cupac, now that Destin Bain isn't holding you back anymore, what are your plans for the future here in Black Diamond? My plans is to have fun, dance and eat candy. That's what I love to do. No championship aspirations, no nothing. No, don't want to maybe go turn over the Ed's Diamond Division title or anything? Or, or like, maybe like a cruiserweight title at the beginning? Uh, <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> uh, what a know, move by know. Destin Bain there. He he drove the face of Chase Aarons into the turnbuckle. Well, now Chase knows how it feels like they have his face too. That was brutal. Destin Bain can be a brutal opponent in that ring. I wouldn't sell him short. He could easily be a champion here in Black Diamond. Okay. He could Destin be the Bain the company. walking the road. <laughs> Chase with the counter, though. Oh, boy. Destin. Trying to escape the other ring now. They're moving, moving in between the rings here. Oh, no. Is that, is that a count out area? Or no, not? But that is still, I would say no. I, I don't know if I would. Oh, oh I don't pick like him in the, in the, the midsection. Oh my. my God! Oh no! Chase Aaron's up on top. Chase Aaron's. Oh! oh my God! Against the vein. That—that's gotta be it. 
He may have knocked him out. No! You've got to like the, resi the resiliency of Destin Bang. He's incredibly resilient. I, I can't believe that he kicked out of that knee. That was right to the back of his head. Oh, yeah. Right in the back of his skull. If nothing else, his brain must feel like scrambled eggs right now. I think that Chase saying that's it here. Creative. Nope. Uh, Destin saw that nope. coming. He's setting up for something here. Fisherman. He has it hooked. Oh my. Some call it a fisherman. Some call it a perfect flex. What do you want to call it? I, I thought he had him there. You know, if Destin Bain can win this contest, there's no doubt in my mind that he'd deserve a shot at the Over the Edge Diamond Division Championship. Yeah, he, beat the, well, he beat the champion. I put that in asterisks beside that because. Uh, why is, why is there he is the champion, whether Glory possesses those titles or not. Oh, nice boot from Chase Aaron. Uh, oh, knockout! That's I heard that one. Right That's got to be the knockout shot there. there Q-Puck, it was great having great you here. here. Thank you. Good seeing you, Q-Puck. Good seeing you, too. I'll be, I'll be up there later in the battle, in the battle royal. Awesome. Thank you. Find all my fans out there. Love What our announcer Josh is saying right now is that at our April 13th event in Wheeling, West Virginia, out of time, our main event is going to be the System Elite versus the Fantastic Ones in a Bands Bring the Weapons contest. So if you got anything at home, old keyboards, you know a mouse that they can choke each other out with, uh, you know, your mother's old trash can, you know, your mother's crochet, your mother, your mother, you can bring yeah, your bring your mother. mother. It's anything goes if the fans bring the weapons back. You bring them, they'll use them. I don't think that's what I think that's ridiculous. What those idiots are going to bring? Probably a blender or something. Hey, you know, they'll be blending some faces that night. I know. That's. Well, to, tonight, though, before we get to wheeling on April 13th, we're going to have. For Proflex in their tag team titles tonight with the System Elite, Edric Everhart and uh, Tyler Cross going up against Jeff Flexer and Andrew Palace for the tag team championship. The last time we were here in Brilliant, actually Proflex defeated the System Elite. So are we going to see the same thing here tonight? Absolutely. Just saying.
But you know what? Proflex went through three grueling matches I sure did. to get to those titles. Including defeating the Church of Resnick in the finals. That was Vinny, Vinny Stone and Rick Rumsky. That was a tough battle for them. You know, Chess Flexer, even, even, I thought he suffered a more long term injury. Uh, I'm not, I wonder if we'll see the effects of that here tonight uh, on the play. And you know, that could be a factor too. system elite to win here tonight. Right. Going into that match. You're right about that. Because I mean they're gonna be gunning for those titles too once once they can you know get past the system elite and their you know feud that they got going here. Um, although you know if if the system elite happen to lose tonight against Proflex, who's who's gonna be next in line? Maybe even the fantastic one. So either way they might get a title shot. birthday cakes are in a stone. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't I don't quite know the math there. Well, we, we should ask uh, the Highlander. We should ask the Highlander about that one. He's free. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our camera guy. Oh, yeah. Because he's smart. He knows stone the yards. Or stone the pounds. <laughs> don't you have something to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is going to be the first title defense for Proflex, possibly their last if they don't make it past the system elite here tonight. Proflex have, have quickly proven, in the, even in just the past month, that they are a top tag team here in Black Diamond Wrestling. I mean, I think we call it the Proflex victory over system elite is an upset. It was an upset. That absolutely was an upset. And, you know, they can get the upset here tonight, but... I, I was really surprised to see them win the titles at the Royal 8. Yeah. First time we ever had a tag team Royal 8, and Proflex came out on top. Well, you know, as you know, I picked Violent Finn, but that didn't work out too well. Yeah. I think you're going to match strength with Tyler Cross. Oh no, Chess Flex is pretty strong in his own right. But now he has a leverage advantage because he's up higher. He's in blind tag now. Edric Everhart coming in to, to, to finish the test of strength, apparently. Almost easy. Well, it looks like Chess Flexer has a slight advantage here. Get him into the corner. Got a blind tag there from Palace. Very smart. The, the pro and the pro flex category. You know what's missing tonight, Warren? Ginger. Yeah, I knew you'd figure that out. Of course. We always need that special spice, you know. Uh, Gotta have it. You know, ginger is like, the Proflex is like butter on coffee. But peanut butter is jelly. <laughs> Ike and I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. 
I'm picking up what you're throwing down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Pallas in control here with that headlock. Goes back in the corner, tags chest flexor. A uh, headlock is a basic wrestling maneuver, but really, it's effective. Simple it, it but effective. Absolutely is. If you control the head, you control the body. You're right about that. Nice knee from Chess there. Oh, knee right to the gut. Gut buster of some sorts. Chess also bringing bringing Edric Everhart back up by his head. Go for a lot of quick tags we're seeing here. Some really good teamwork from from both teams so far. Oh, headbutt. I think right it was to the hair. side. Was that hair butt? I think it was. He just used his hair. I mean, that hair might be tougher than his actual head. Oh, look, he, got, he actually gave me a headbutt earlier in the back. Hit me with his hair. Oh, yeah? Like Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> For our video game uh, players out there. <laughs> you got that. Man. I got it. Edric countering here, or at least trying to. Also, the quick, quick is a hiccup with that headlock takeover. Again, I talk about you know, controlling the head, controlling the body. Headlock takeover, another simple but very effective maneuver. Does it count if he tags his foot? Uh, I mean, yes. apparently referee Ryan Rudolph thinks so, but I don't think any, any body part I, touching. Him. And I'm hearing from our officials here that that shouldn't be legal, but. Who said it's legal? Uh, well, the, the Highlander, Mike, Mike McGowan. is an official, but from what I learned, no, it's true. Oh. Uh, oh! They just... Proflex double teaming. What did they and do just, exactly? They brought him over into the, the middle there, into the oh. ropes. Oh! Alabama! Wow! Oh. Wait, we're not in Alabama. Straight from the south. Whatever. Alabama. Just flexor. <laughs> Going for a knee drop. Remember the injury from last week. Remember that. I looked off those. Yeah, that, that injury. He might. He, he probably just exacerbated that injury. He did, did right he, there. What? Exacerbated. <laughs> exacerbated. <laughs> and Tyler Cross. He's he's hungry like the wolf in this instance and going right for that knee. That's why they call him the big bad wolf. You think he'll go after the wolf? <laughs> he might. He might. He might. Nate might do. <laughs> well, Tyler Cross remembers and Petra Sparns remembers too. The knee injury. From, uh, <laughs> uh, Andrew Pallas telling Chess Flexer not to give up. But he, he might he almost got counted out there. And I just noticed he uh, he's wearing a knee brace on that. He, he is, yeah. Knows that. Which, you know, could just be a target for his opponents. Yeah, I never liked that. Oh, oh make a wish. Man, I didn't know Thanksgiving was so soon. Yeah. There's Easter coming up, too. Uh, I don't know. You don't normally eat some turkey at Easter, though. I do. Oh, uh, well, you're a smarter man than most. I eat fried turkey. Sounds really good right now. Oh, I know it does. Edric Everhart continuing to work on the leg of chest flexor. That's, that's definitely going to be the Achilles heel of the Tag Team Champions. It's just me, not his heel. It's an expression, though. It means his weak spot. Okay. I don't know I don't know who talks to an animal. It's, <laughs> it's, heel. it's more uh, Greek mythology. He's using his knee there up against the mat. No, it was his heel. System leader using a smart strategy here. You can't uh, deny that. T take it out for them. That could that could be their way to victory and regaining the tag team championships. It, 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 and like you said, the Fantastic Ones probably want to see these guys end up with the titles mm -hmm. so that they can take them from them. But I, I wouldn't count the Fantastic Ones out too soon though. Uh, right. I just like I said, that that uh, bring your own weapons match is over there. It's going to be brutal. Yeah. It's going to be brutal. Who knows what the fans are going to bring? They can bring anything. But for that to even be a title match, the, the system leader is going to have to get through Proflex. And it's going to be hard to get through those both those men. Both of them have a lot of heart. 
as we saw going through three grueling matches. They beat the Headless Horseman. They beat the Church of Bresnik in that tournament. That's that's no small feat. No small feat. If you're just an elite, you don't want to look past these guys either. Especially if it's just especially if it's a title match. I mean, yeah, next the next show in Maryland is going to be big, but you want to concentrate on what's going on right now. Absolutely. And you, the System Elite, they're they're arguably the top tag team that Black Diamond Wrestling has ever seen. They haven't been defeated very many times in, in the years that they've been here. So they, they've lost very few matches. So that's why it was such an upset when ProFlex beat them last time we were here in Brilliant. Well, I want to pick the brand a little bit. Do you think it would be an upset now if ProFlex beat them? Or they I, I don't think it would be as much of an upset um, after what we've seen. I, I still think, especially with Chess Flexer's knee injury, that the system leader, the favorites going into this. He really going to the top right? And that, that probably was not a smart move by Flexer. Oh, oh my God! He slammed him in between the ropes there. That that might be a might be a, a Andrew Palace just snapping there. That, that might be an injury there. There's no way you could. There's no way you could land. Okay. There's no map there. There's that was just nothing. on the side of that ring, which is steel. Right. That's right. just steel on the sides there. So half turn. Chess Flexer landed on steel with that. I, I don't see how he couldn't submit to this half Boston Crab right now. Yeah. There's a certain lance right now. He's very happy. Yeah, who's who's that? Yeah. Uh, just, just some guy lance I know. He's going for this move. <laughs> Chess Flexer trying to get the tag. Edric Everhart smartly moving back towards his corner. It's a storm in Canada. <laughs> a thunderstorm. Oh, both men hot. I think Chess Flexer. 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 Chess Flexer. Chess Flexer. He's hurt. I, I agree with you here. Uh, Andrew Palace, though, coming back. He's still balling. He's in the fight. He's both men. Out. All four men, I should say. Back and forth. Melee here. Oh! oh. Stereo. Both, both of them hit hit stunners but on their the opponents, but the, it was opposing yeah, stunners. Yeah, pa Palace and Edric Everhart hit the stunners on on Chest and Tyler Cross. Yeah. Now both those men fighting back and forth here. Oh. Yeah, with stereo Uranagis. Oh man. Well, no, they, they all they, just hit rock bottom. I don't know. I was gonna make that same joke, Warren. <laughs> you beat me to it. Yeah. I figured I'd do the right thing, call it a Uranagi. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to get sued by the great one. <laughs> I mean that. that that could be one of the points to bookend this match. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, Irish whip by Palace. Nice clothesline. A lot of fire behind it. Another back elbow. Palace. Flying forearm from Andrew Palace. Andrew Everhart. Back. Oh, Palace saw that one coming. Uh-oh. Palace has him on his shoulder. Oh. Nice Oklahoma roll. Thomas has got Tyler Cross up. Going for an airplane spin here. The 80s. Yeah. It, airplane but spin. But you know what? Looks like Tyler Cross is a bit dizzy there. Oh, going for that clothesline. Cross has him. Oh! Wow. Hits him with that DDT. That could be it. He got him right on the throw with that one. Oh, you mean his head. Okay. Yeah, yeah right there. It. Looks like they're setting up for it. This has got... Oh! Oh! oh they hit each there. other's knees. Andrew's just pulling out Tyler Cross. <laughs> this could be just the mistake that ProFlex needs. Oh, here we go. Setting them up. Looks like we're going to see the spin cycle. Spin cycle. Oh! That spin cycle power bomb. Good night. That's got to be it. One of those and strength. And still your tag team champions, Pro Flex.
Understand it's their first run with the tag titles, but right. you know if, if he he could injure himself permanently and not be able to come back from it. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Molito, I don't think they have anything to be ashamed of. Honestly, they put up a great fight. Hey, they're they're tough competitors. And if anything, they're just going to be pissed off. On them. Yeah, yeah, they'll probably even be more upset going into that match with the Fantastic Ones. That's for sure. And both those men. I mean, you gotta say they're both still favorites. Fantastic ones and System Elite are favorites going into a tag team title shot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the winner of that match could end up being the next number one contender for the tag titles. Walk out that, that's another good point. Because fans can bring anything they want. Absolutely. You got some old speakers, some old hubcaps, some old, you know, tire irons, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna bring. Don't give me that look, Josh. Can we use Josh as a weapon? Wait, yeah, they can use... If fans bring Josh, our announcer Josh, then they can use Josh as a weapon. coming up featuring the Church of Resnick, Jay Flash, Dan Sandwich, Chris Lewis of Harley, Team Morris, and the Kingpin. And then we also have Tony Johnson in the ring with a, a debuting uh, wrestler here in Black Diamond Wrestling. We'll save that surprise for later. And then we have our big battle royal featuring all the stars and wrestlers here at Black Diamond Wrestling. So definitely keep 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 your view on this. Don't don't change the internet. Or your browser. Don't change your browser. We will be back with more BDW action. 